Hey YouTube, what's up? And welcome back to tutorial number 31. And in this tutorial, I'm just going to show you guys how to style your table. So as you can see, I'm starting off with the exact same table that we've had in the previous tutorials. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to start off by removing this border attribute because we can use CSS to style that later. And now I'm going to click Save. And we can actually run this in Firefox just so you guys can get an idea of what the default table looks like. So that's what it looks like completely unstyled. And now we can go over to our CSS, which I've already prepared a CSS sheet over here. And uh, what we can do now is obviously start styling our table. So we can go ahead and style that. And the first thing I actually want to show you guys is how to add the border in with CSS rather than using that attribute. So let's go ahead and just add border and we'll set that equal to one pixel solid and black. Awesome. And you could probably use whatever color you want, but it doesn't matter. And now the reason I wanted to show you guys this first is because borders don't actually in inherit down. So there's not actually going to be a border around every single cell on our table. We're just going to have a border around our table. So watch this. Bam. Okay, so we only have a border around our table. As you can see, it hasn't made a border around every single cell, which is kind of annoying because when you look at a table, you do sort of want to separate each row or at least each cell so that it's easier to read. So uh, what we could do now is go back to Notepad and because we're using table data okay well here's table data and there's table headers okay we're gonna have to apply the border to both of those cells and to do that we can just go ahead and say table data and then comma and table header and that will apply the style rule to both of those elements and we can probably just copy that, paste, save, and when you go back to Firefox now and you click refresh, now we have this awesome table cell around every single one of our cells. We've got a border around every single table cell. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty awesome. And uh, it's kind of annoying though that there's like this little gap between each cell. So what you can do now is if you go back to your CSS and underneath your table over here we can use the border collapse property so border collapse and if you set this equal to collapse just like that and then save this and go back to Firefox you can see what happens now when I click refresh is that little gap is actually going to disappear so let's go ahead and click refresh and as you can see we now have just one solid border all the way around every single one of our cells and that is pretty cool but uh, as you can see I've got this a little bit of an issue here and I know why this is it's because I set my row span to 99 and the table is not 99 rows long so let's go back here and uh, row span we can just go ahead and set that equal to 2 and we're going to save that and refresh you can see we now have the border closing up properly which is awesome okay so what you could also do is use classes to make every second row a different color and that would make the table a little bit easier to read for the user so what we can do is uh, go back to CSS and we can make our two different classes so my first class can just be yellow and we'll just set the background color to yellow and I'm actually just going to copy this and we'll just set the other one to orange so the colors are like sort of similar but not the same let's go ahead and save that and uh, now we can go back to Firefox. Uh, wait, 
I'm lying. We have to go and apply those classes to each row. So we've got our first row over here and we can set this class equal to yellow and we can set this next class equal to orange and obviously we'll change again and we'll set the next class equal to yellow again and when we click save and now we can go back to Firefox and click refresh and as you can see we now have um, rows that now alternate in color so we've got like a yellow row then an orange row and it would probably look better if these columns weren't spanning over multiple rows and then we've got a yellow row again so that's just a one way of how to make your table a little bit easier to read for the user and that's pretty much all I have for you guys in this tutorial so thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time don't forget to subscribe please feel free to leave a comment and if you found this video helpful then please go ahead and click like because it's really gonna help my channel grow so thank you very much and I'll see you guys next time